all of your devices together seamlessly. In the future, you will be able to connect to information and people you care about instantly across any of those screens. When I think about the future of Windows, I really do think, as we say in our marketing, of a life without walls. I'd now like to invite up on stage Charlotte Jones. Charlotte is going to give you a demonstration of Windows 7, Windows Live, and Windows Mobile. Thanks, Steve. Hey, everyone. Get ready to see the new Windows 7 beta. We know that the typical user has between 5 and 15 windows open at a time. So with Windows 7, we make it easier to move between them on the taskbar. I have two Internet Explorer windows open right now, each with multiple tabs. And I can use Windows 7 Preview to move between those sites. And then I can select sites or close sites right from here. It's quick and easy. So let's switch over to this touch screen. So I can show you how we're making a big investment in touch with Windows 7. Notice how some of the same tasks I was just doing with a mouse can also easily be done with touch. Here's one example of a cool multi-touch application. It's called Surface Globe. With a single touch movement, I can turn the globe, but I can use multi-touch to zoom in on a particular location. So I'm going to zoom in even further until we get to Manhattan and look a little closer at Midtown. Now as we get closer and the buildings start to come into view, it becomes really interesting to then use another motion to tilt the globe so I can actually see the sides of those buildings. And I could move through Midtown Manhattan now from a street level. We heard a lot of users talk about being overloaded by the time they spend going to multiple places online just to keep in touch with one set of friends and family. So with our newest release, we've made Windows Live into a place that also brings social updates on the web to you. Let's take a look. A good place to start is at home.live.com. I'm gonna send Scott and all of you a little bit of love. I give you kissy lips. <laughs> There's so many cool gadgets here. We could go on for days. We'll have more of them later in the show. Now, even though this event is called the Consumer Electronics Show, there are many ways that businesses can benefit from these inventions. More on that next. On Tuesday, January 20th, the world will watch as the new American president takes office. The world will watch on the networks of CNN. There are fewer attendees and fewer exhibitors at this year's Consumer Electronics Show, but that's not stopping innovation from taking place. To help me look through the latest and greatest, I have Lance Ulanoff here, the editor-in-chief from PCMag.com. Hey. Let's take a look at what we have. Interesting stuff with this small laptop. Sony P-Series Lifestyle PC based on the Atom processor. It's about 1.4 giga, uh, gigahertz, very light. Is. One it's about 1.4 pounds. It would fit in a big pocket or in a pocket you book. You know, so it's great for college students. And about uh, how much do you think? Uh, it's it's ni this is $900, but okay. it's a full-blown PC. Now, unlike the netbooks, which can be a little bit underpowered. It's running the full operating system. It's got all the ports that you need. And this here is more of a business device. Business device, very you know, great for verticals. You know, they like Let's to it. boom. It's got the QWERTY keyboard that you can hide away. Look at but that. what's important about this is the, by the way, it's the OQO model O2 Plus. First OLED display PC. It's a touch screen. OLED meaning organic light, light emitting display diode, or diode. Or diode. That's right. And it is very powerful. Got a Vista operating system on it. This can run you anywhere from about $900 to about $1,500 depending on configuration. Cell phones we're all familiar with. What's yes. new from Samsung here? Well, this is the Samsung Eternity. But here's what's exciting about this. You know, in the US, we are switching over to all digital television. That's opening up the UHF 55 channel, and now you can use that on your cell phone with the media flow from Qualcomm to watch live 
television. And look at that live this television live from CNN right there. Now. And this large object next to me, this isn't the invention, this big screen, <laughs> but what's being projected is... Wowie makes this. This is the Cinnamon Swivel 249. It works with any iPod that shoots video, you know, that uh, delivers video. So the Nano, the Touch, the iPhone. It is a Pico projector with a swivel on it, which means you can go from there, you can swivel it up to 90 degrees. So you can put it on, hey, somebody's calling us. It's a working phone. <laughs> so well, you got that. But this can swivel up to 90 degrees. It can also play, so you'd be on an airplane and you just put it on the back seat, that tray table, while you're going. So video anywhere you want. Now, as we've seen, there's lots of great products for consumers, like this from Hitachi. It's a gesture remote control. You can change uh, lighting in the room. You can also watch television with the move of your hand but there's also some great ideas here for business we walked around with one man whose job it is to keep an eye on the future of business my name is john paul boucher i'm an emerging technology director for oxus my whole job is to find the best technology here at ces and make sure it works for business this asus netbook is the latest fad in mobile computing. What it is is a very small, very portable, very light, and very inexpensive, not too powerful laptop that will let you do your email, let you browse the web, and let you do all of your photos all in one small little package. Well, certainly not the most visually interesting piece of equipment here at the CES, this hard drive, which has a hardware encryption associated with it, along with a keyboard on top of it, is probably the most important business tool that we have at our disposal today. Securing our wireless and mobile devices and the information, even more importantly on them, is important, if not essential, to your business. This hard drive will allow for that information to be constantly stored in a secured manner. So when you use it, you will simply use the, the data on the hard drive, and when you're done, it will encrypt it immediately, so they're keeping it safe from any prying eyes. People really do enjoy being able to touch their computers and being able to access their information through their natural interface, and this is just a great example of it. Even with the fast cars and very expensive uh, booths here at CES, we do see a very big difference given the, today's economy. What we're trying to find is certain technologies that will actually help a business in these types of tough times. And we found one here called FleetMinder. FleetMinder is a technology that will allow you as a company to manage and create efficiencies in your organization with their traveling staff and any other services that they might be providing. Here's Nokia's most recent business phone. It's got both the features of a consumer device as well as the business focus that it's attempting to uh, assist with. This device has the ability to both provide your services for your business, email, contacts, calendar, as well as, of course, being able to view videos, watch movies, uh, and also get uh, access to the World Wide Web in any way that you would like. This Nokia device has a larger screen allowing you to view full-size documents as well as, of course, larger videos at the same time. This is going to give you a better experience. However, it is a much larger physical device, and most people do not want to carry around this kind of brick in their pocket anymore. Hey, anyone else want to play? <laughs> All right, I'm glad John Paul was able to have some fun here as well. well that will wrap up our time together. I've taken my final step. Let's see what count the pedometer is on. Take a look at that. 30,743 steps, which is about 24.59 kilometers. That's like walking directly up Mount Everest and back down. And I would still have more steps to take before I could equal the distance I've traveled here. But it has been quite a bit of fun. I'm Errol Barnett at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. I've got some shopping to do. Take care.